Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. Last week I received another package from Graby. This time they sent me their set of 42 sculpting tools. I was so impressed with the quality of the tools and the range of the tools. There's so many different things in there that I just had to get started straight away. I had a plan to try layering different shades and colours of polymer clay and then carving into them. And so I filmed my experimental process and that's what I've got for you today. It's not going to be my usual um, kind of video. It's not a tutorial as such. It's more of a fly through of what I did. So hopefully it will just inspire you to have a go yourself. And I think it's quite easy to follow without lots of instructions anyway. So without further ado, let's get on with it. The 42 tools from Graby came in a really handy case to keep them all in one place and nice and safe and protected. All the tools are made of either wood or wood and metal and they feel really strong and sturdy. There are so many to choose from. Whatever your sculpting project may be, there will be a tool for you. There's a link in the description so you can go and have a look for yourself and don't forget my 15% discount code. All of the polymer clay I've used in today's project is Sculpey. It's Primo by Sculpey. <laughs> and yeah, I really like that one actually. And I use my pasta rolling machine to make nice even layers. You can probably tell that this is my first attempt at this so it's not perfect but I really like the effect. I love the way you can see all the different layers coming through and it gives a really cool water effect. Now we're on to the background layer of waves and for this I chose a different colour and a different technique. This method would work really well for making fish scales, especially if you're making a fish which is going to be curved because as you bend it all those scales stand on end and it gives a really good look. 
Once this piece had been baked and I held it up against my picture frame, I realised that it was just too big and so I just trimmed it down with my craft knife. Although I have a sparkling new set of sculpting tools, I still find that sometimes your fingers are the best tools, the tools that God gave you. And so I'm just using my fingers to smooth out the sides of the whale's head. In the set there are a few tools with a knife blade on the end and those tools are so handy for making little cuts like when I've just made the mouth. It just works so well so that's one of my favourite tools so far. In this video I've actually only used a handful of the tools but I've got so many ideas of different projects I'd like to do now I've got them all. Just to try them all out I'm thinking of Christmas decorations and maybe a little um, air dry clay house like a Christmas house I'm thinking of doing as well that might be another video coming up so yeah can't wait to try out all the rest of the tools I loved how this method of making clouds turned out. It's not my idea. I saw it on somebody else's channel. Um, and if I can find it again, I'll put the link in the description because I really do love the effect. It turned out so well and it's kind of a cartoony effect. And yeah, it looks like you want to touch them. The whole picture when it's finished is very touchy feely. And I like that. I like all the different textures I've got going on in the finished piece. Right, as you can see, I've got a very old and battered frame here. You can see from the inside the age of it. <laughs> and what I've done is I've painted it white. It was black and you could see its age. So I've just painted it white. I liked the frame because of the texture on it and I thought it would go well with the picture. So what I did was I made a sheet of blue polymer clay for the background and I've just put that on the inside and everything else will be stuck to it.
Once I'd got everything stuck together, I realised that there was something missing. So I decided to make the plume of mist that you would have coming out from the whale's blowhole. That sounds bad, doesn't it? I'm sure it's called a blowhole. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's like a plume of mist when they breathe out and the, um, the air from the lungs hits the cold temperatures and you get the plume of mist. So that's what I'm doing here. And I decided to be artistic and make it into an air, um, air, a heart shape. And so, yeah, that's all I'm doing here. Right, when I glued on that heart shaped plume onto the whale, I got some glue on the whale's head. <sighs> I know, quite frustrating and it wouldn't wipe off. And so every time you looked at it from a certain direction, you could see the glue on the head. So I decided to cover it with UV resin. I'm using an old paintbrush to do that. You don't have to use a paintbrush. You could move the resin around with a cocktail stick or something like that. But I do quite like using the paintbrush. And as long as you wrap that paintbrush up so the light can't get to it, afterwards it will you can always use it for uv resin and it will be fine i'm using a resin which has been sent to me by j diction and it's actually a really good uv resin and i need to do a review video on that so that's something coming up but i had a little play with it before doing the review and i'll let you into the secret already that it's really really good anyway yeah, that's what I was doing, just finishing it off. And the problem is, um, once it was shiny, it was really hard to photograph. And so I regretted it in a way. In real life, it looks really good shiny because it looks like a, a whale that's just come out of the water, which it is. Um, but yeah, the photographs really don't do it justice, unfortunately which is a real shame. Maybe if I'd made the whale a paler colour, it would show up better. But you learn, you live and you learn, don't you? You, f you find out afterwards what you would have changed. And so, yeah, if you're going to do this, I would recommend using a paler blue for the whale. And here we have the finished piece. As I said before, it does actually look better in real life. And it was hard to capture that whale in the photographs, but I still love it. I really am happy with this picture. I think it's really cute. And I was thinking of putting some hooks underneath the frame and having it in my bathroom to hook little bits like nail brushes and things on. I think it would look great in the bathroom. So, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed and you've enjoyed the video, please do. And remember to go and have a look at the Graby store at those fantastic sculpting tools. I absolutely loved them. And thank you, Graby. It was a pleasure to use them. I will see you next time. Bye for now.